Hi, welcome to Spice Up Your Blog. Okay, so what we're going to look at in this video is how you can add a signature with social icons to your emails. So basically when you send an email, at the foot of the email you will have a signature with icons for your Facebook and Twitter accounts that will link directly to those accounts. And we are going to be using Gmail here. I'm sure most of the email platforms do have the option to have it, add a signature, but we're going to use Gmail. And it's actually quite easily done. So the first thing you're going to do, need to do is have some social icons you're going to use. In this video, we're going to use a set of social icons that we released um, some time back, which are the 3D social icons with names, which is this set of icons. And I will have links to those on YouTube and on the post on Spice Up Your Blog, so you can download those. Now, once you download them, you will actually need to host them somewhere. And we'll see why that is in a sec. Okay, so to show you exactly what we're doing, I've sent a test email to one of my email accounts, which is here. And you can see I've added this signature, just my name, and then the four social icons to Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, and Twitter. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing, and now we're going to do it. So the first thing you want to do is in your email account, on the right-hand side, you will see the, the icon here to get into your settings. And when you go to your settings, you scroll down till you find the signature section, which is here. Let's drag our camera across. So here we have the signature option, and at the moment we have no signature, so we're going to add a signature. And you can add your name, you can add, if you have a business blog, maybe your name, address, phone number, and whatever details, uh, you can put in the link to your website or your blog, and pretty much as much as you want. But the big thing here is adding the social icons, because that's the kind of harder part. Or it's not even that hard, it's just the more tricky part. Okay, so as I said, you need to host the, the icons and actually get the image URL, and I'll show you exactly why now. So our first step is to add an image. So we click the insert image option. And when we click that, we will see they're asking for the image URL. So you're not getting like you would on your blog or even on Facebook, where you can click browse and grab the image directly from your hard drive. Here we actually need to add the image URL. And that's why we need to host the image elsewhere. So there's a number of ways of hosting your image. As I said, you can host it on your blog or an image hosting site. And we're going to do both those things. So the first thing I'm going to do is on Blogger, um, I'm going to upload one of the images and show you how you can grab the image URL. So I've already downloaded that icon pack. So I'll just go into the insert image option on Blogger. I'll click choose files. If you don't have a Blogger account, I'll show you other ways in a second. Okay, so we're going to just click choose files. We're going to go into our downloads. And here we have the 3D social icons with names. I'm going to click into those. We're going to use size 48 pixels. And I'm going to grab the image for Facebook. Okay, so we're going to grab that image for Facebook. And once it's ready, we're going to click add selected. And there's the image. So I need to get the image URL. So on Blogger here at the moment, I'm in compose mode. I'm going to click into HTML mode, and we will see the code for that image. Now the part of the code we want is called the image source. So in the second part here, near the end, you will see IMG, which is image border equals source equals, and between the two commas is where you find the image. So you'll be working from HTTP colon forward slash forward slash down to dot png and not including the quote quotation marks. Okay, so once you have that, you can copy it, head back to your email settings and paste in the image URL where they asked. And once we paste that in, we'll see the image straight away and we click OK. And that's the image now added into our signature. But of course, we need this image to be a clickable link and it needs to be a hyperlink so when somebody clicks on it they'll, it'll lead to our Facebook page. In order to do this what we need to do is we need to highlight or select the image. So what we do is we place our cursor beside it, we're going to click and hold and basically just drag across the image until it goes highlighted like that. So once again we just click and drag across it and it will highlight. Once highlighted we click the link icon when we click the link icon, the first part is text to display. We, will not, we won't add anything there, but we will add in the web address section. So I'm just going to add a link to Facebook. And we'll add it to our Facebook page, uh, which is Spice Up Your Blog. Okay, I think we have a typo there. Spice Up Your Blog. Okay, so that's perfect. So now we have the link there to Spice Up Your Blog. We click OK. And now this Facebook icon is a link to our Facebook page and it's ready to go. 
Okay, so let's add another icon. And this time what we're going to do is I'm going to upload it on an image host rather than the blog. So if you don't have a blog or blog or any blog, you can use an image host. The image host I'm going to use is a site called Imager, which is imgor.com. And on Imager, I'm going to click uh, to upload. So you have upload images. I'm going to click computer because I'm uploading it from my computer. And once again, we're going to go into the downloads. We're going to go into the 3D social icons with names. Click through into the 48 pixel size. And we'll add the Twitter icon. Okay, once we have that there, we can click start upload. And once uploaded, once again, we need to basically grab the direct link to that, which is the image source. And on Imager, you will find a number of options down the right. We're going to get direct link. And if I click this, little icon here we will actually copy it to the clipboard so I click that you can see it says copied so I have copied the link to the Twitter image so back in our in our email account once again we're going to click to insert an image we're going to paste in the imager code which generates our Twitter icon we're going to click OK the Twitter image is in and as before we're going to click and select the Twitter icon we're going to click the link option and add the link so we're adding a link to twitter so that was twitter.com and my one will be paul pro pro okay so now we have that entered we click ok and this has now become a link to our twitter account okay so you can continue on that process uploading your images grabbing the url putting them in for as many icons as you like selecting and adding that link so they become a hyperlink to your to your social profile and once you're done with that you click save changes and you are done okay so that is basically how quick and simple it is to add those social icons and then once you send an email people will have the option to go and check out your social profiles thanks for watching the video